Hi friends, it's Morvin, and welcome to a new video. I hope you're doing well. I've been going slightly loopy in self-isolation lately, so I decided to share with you today a DIY loom tutorial that is very easy to follow. I have also put the instructions down in the description in case you get a bit confused. All you'll need is three standard sized business cards, or you can cut a piece of paper or card to the size of pen or pencil, ruler, scissors, glue or sellotape, and some yarn. A needle or crochet hook can make it easier, but you can do this without one. To start, take three business cards or the pieces of card cut to size and glue them together. Then along the shorter edges, make a mark every 4mm. I use a tape measure as my ruler only shows 5cm indications. Once you've done this on both short sides, join the marks with a straight line. This is a guideline for your warp threads, but will eventually be covered up by the weaving itself. It does, however, help identify the back from the front. Once you have done this, mark 5mm in from each short end and draw another line to join them. This is the marker for you to know when to start and finish your weaving. You can then colour this section in to make it a bit more obvious, but it's not necessary. Next, carefully cut either a 2mm notch or at most halfway along each of the 4mm marks. This is where your warp will go. Now it's time to warp the loom. It's best to use a thin-ish yarn so it fits through the notches. Leave a tail of yarn and begin to warp the yarn around the business cards. Make sure you don't pull the yarn too tight as this will cause the card to buckle. When you get to the last notch, cut the yarn and tie both ends together. I like to tuck each end under a few warp strings to make it more secure, but again, it is not necessary. Let's start weaving. You can see me put a blue paintbrush under the warp threads and this is to lift the yarn up, making it easier to work with. In this video I only show the most basic weaving technique, but in the description I have listed more textile YouTubers for you to have a look at. The weaving technique in this loom project is done by alternating the weft under and over the warp. To clarify, the warp is the vertical threads and the weft is the horizontal threads we weave through the vertical threads to make a pattern. Make sure to push the yarn to that 5mm line we drew to make it straight. A crochet hook or sewing needle is good for this because it makes it easier to see what warp threads you're working with. It also makes it easier to pull the weft yarn through. I always check the second warp thread so I know whether to go under or over.
Because the loom is so small, it can help to flip it upside down. I do this because I am right hand dominant and can't use the crochet hook very well in my left hand. Also, make sure to pack down the yarn after each weft so they are nice and secure. It can also help to tuck back the ends of each weft thread so they don't get tangled up in your working yarn. You need to leave a small tail at the beginning and end of each weft thread and this will get woven into the back at the end. Make sure you don't pull the weft yarn too tightly as you want the warp threads to stay straight. If you pull it too tightly it can cause your edges to go all over the place and not look very neat. The exact same process is done when you change yarns. Weave under and over the opposite to the previous weft and tuck the tails in behind to keep them out of the way. You can use different thicknesses of yarn to create texture and pattern. I doubled up this mauve yarn because it was so thin. You can even weave different shapes into the piece, but in this tutorial I have just done stripes. YouTube and Pinterest have great walkthroughs on how to do this.
Once you get near the top of the loom, it can start to get quite tight to weave and it can help to remove whatever you've used to keep the yarn away from the card. Try and weave as close to the top 5mm line as possible, but if it gets too hard, then leave it as it is. Once you have filled the loom, it is now time to secure the weaving and tidy up the back. Start by moving all the weft tails out of the middle and cut through the warp threads. Unhook the warp threads at one end of the loom and begin to tie them together. You only need to do one knot and make sure it is fairly tight, but not tight enough to buckle the top of the weaving. I tend to start at the end where the weft tail is to make it extra secure. Once each warp thread is knotted, it's time to tuck the tails away. On the back of the weaving, carefully with a needle or crochet hook, pull the end of the warp threads through three or four weft loops. You can then cut the extra yarn off. Now the warp threads are secure in the weaving and should not show on the front. Do the exact same to the weft tails by weaving them into the back of the piece and cut away any excess. After all that is done, you can unhook the other warp threads, knot them together and weave the ends into the piece. Your little weaving is now finished. If you make more than one you can join them together or you can make a larger one with the same techniques for a larger weaving. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know how you get on in the comments below. Until the next time, thank you for watching, stay indoors if you can and keep safe. Bye for now!